corrosion control of iron using potential pH diagram. We can control corrosion by cathodically control method and anodically control method. Let's start with cathodically control method. Here, let's elect a point A where iron is the predominant iron species and hence corrosion region for iron. The corroding iron can be brought into a state of immune by cathodic polarization of the corroding iron at the same pH to the more negative potential where iron shows inactive state. As a result the corrosion of iron can be minimized to zero. This method is called cathodic protection method. Anodically control method. A corroding iron metal from point A is brought to a passive state thermodynamically most stable state due to the formation of stable and diffusion barrier films of ferric oxide Fe2O3, formed on the surface of iron that protect further dissolution of iron. This method of protecting from corrosion by shifting the potential in more positive value or noble direction is called the anodic passivation. Here, in the yellow part of the diagram, an active metal such as iron can be protected by a cathodic protection mechanism, which is to bias it so that its potential is below the oxidation potential of the metal. This cathodic protection strategy is most frequently carried out by connecting a more active metal such as magnesium or zinc to the iron or steel object. The cathodic protection is used in the hull of a ship, or an underground gas pipeline. The active metal which must be higher than iron in the activity series is also in contact with the solution and slowly corrodes, so it must eventually be replaced. The red and green regions represent conditions under which oxidation of iron produces soluble and insoluble products. Thanks for watching, bye bye, see you.